Shall we just pray? Our Father Lord, we thank you for these moments, Lord, when we can come into your presence, Lord Jesus. Not, Lord, that we, it is our will, Lord, but it, is, it was your will, Lord Jesus. And we thank you for that, Lord. Right now, Lord Jesus, as we come to listen to your word and receive your word, Lord Jesus, it is food for us, Lord Jesus. Lord, help us to be able to receive it, Lord, with full focus, Lord. Let nothing distract us, Lord Jesus. Lord, let our concentration and focus be on you and your word, Lord. Because you are, Lord, going to give us something today, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, we also pray for our brother Raju, Lord, that he so kindly accepted, Lord, to come and, 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 and to deliver your word to your people, Lord Jesus. Bless him, Lord. Anoint him, Lord. Whatever words come from his mouth, Lord, will be your words, Lord Jesus, which will bless him as well as us, Lord Jesus. So, Lord, we just entrust him, ourselves, into your hands, Lord. Have it your way. In your name, Lord, we say. Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you, Ashish. <coughs> Just relax. I don't want you to be so serious. <laughs> I know there's no exam today. But you may be asked a few questions. Oh, oh my. Okay. <laughs> Thought provoking. Huh? Thought provoking. Thought provoking. I didn't say that, but so that is that you want, yes? <laughs> All right. What is special today? The day of the Lord, Diwali. Light, He is our light. He is our light. So what is Diwali? What is Diwali to you and to me and to the world and to all those who are celebrating and celebrated and will celebrate before this message and after this message, will there be any change in us? Of knowing, understanding, Diwali, a light, whatever may be. So, my dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, at this very moment, I humbly invite you to be more humble. Let us place ourselves before the Lord and especially remember those people whom God has given to you in your heart that you want them experience the light that you have experienced from the Lord. They may be our beloved family members or they may be our friends and relatives who are celebrating Diwali or other people in the world according to you who have not yet experienced or tasted the Lord. So shall we invite Holy Spirit to come guide us, intercede for us for those people and empower us with his word into our hearts. O Almighty and loving God, our Father in heaven, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you Father for this morning as we come before you with all our testimonies and praises with full of gratitude because you are a loving and living God who works in our lives, who is mindful of our life, our being, and you want us, Lord, to live a worthy life. Father, as you have given to us, beloved friends, families, that we pray, Lord, that as we experience your presence in our life, we ask you, Father, to send forth your Holy Spirit in us, to us, renew our mind, our heart, as we receive your word, Grant us more desire and more love to share your word, to enlighten our, those people, Lord, whom you have put in our hearts right now. I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Okay, what is Diwali? As your own experience or what you heard from other people or you have seen some videos, some inspirational or motivation messages through the Diwali. Mm -hmm. Like fight against belief. Okay. I think with the help of God's grace, uh, we should try and, um, I mean, we can't get rid completely of uh, some of the vices that we have. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Because on our own, I think very difficult, but. <clears throat> okay, fine. With His strength, probably. 
So, as Ashish mentioned, this Diwali is the festival of India, especially our continent. India celebrates Diwali as festival of lights. Now they call it festival of lights. But why do people celebrate? Right? There must be some great reason, great purpose. The people who have experienced maybe thousands of years. Maybe Diwali had started before the birth of Jesus. Right? More ancient than the physical birth of Jesus, I mean the nativity of Jesus. So what is Diwali? We ask that what you have mentioned, I just ask this, does it signify the triumph of good or evil? Does this signify the victory of good or evil? Or and or righteousness over treachery? A light over the darkness? And truth over falsehood. <clears throat> the ancient prayer in the Hindu scriptures, Upanishads, which I li like very much, and reflected a lot, meditated over the years. Do you ever remember, do you know some prayer in the Hindu scriptures? Asatoma Satkamaya. Have you heard about this prayer? Anyone? I've heard it, but I don't know really. Fine. So this is called Pavamana Mantra. It is used most of the uh, ritual sacrifices uh, in the past. And it is meaningful, even it is said during the International Peace of Year. The prayer is this. Um, you can read in Hindi, you can read in Sanskrit, or I'll just read in English, but the convenient wall is on the flyer. Uh, just pay attention, please. From ignorance, lead me to the truth. From ignorance, lead me to truth. The prayer is important. From ignorance, lead me to the truth. From darkness, lead me to light. From death, lead me to immortality. Peace, peace, peace. This is a prayer for the ancient heart. Every Hindu, every believer in God, in searching God, in searching for meaning and crying. And that is the purpose of life. Lead us from the ignorance to truth. Lead us from darkness to light. Lead us from mortal life to immortality. And let there be peace, peace and peace. Now the question is, who is the one who is leading us? Who is the one who will lead us to immortality or eternal life or lead us to the light or lead us to the truth? I will come back to that. We all together discuss, uh, I mean, explore. So today my message will be more of reflective over the Word of God. So take it as a reflection or a meditation. So which means um, that work starts with all of you the time that you assign at home or at your work. Okay. So we just explore now. Who is light? Who is light? If you want to know who is the light, light cannot be a thing. That means it has to be created. Right? But who is the light? When in the first uh, word of God in the Bible, let there be light. So that light was created. Before there was no light, so let there be light and there was light and God said it was good. We are not talking about that light. That who is the light, that is important. And that is the light Jesus Christ claimed. Anybody you know what Jesus said about the light? What did Jesus say about the light? He said that was in John 8, 12. I am the light of the world. So 
So it's not our word, it's not man's word, it's the Lord himself declared. I am the light of the world, whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Then we are living, right? Are we? Yes, please. We are living, right? That means we have life. Can I or can you, can anyone on this earth who is living can call that I, I am life, that you are life? Shall we? Can we? Yes. No. <coughs> we can only say I am living. Okay. But I cannot say I am yes. life. I am not. Mm. Nor you. Nor anyone. That's what you testified last week, sister. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is what Jesus Christ claimed. I am the life. Even before Jesus said that word, the way Jesus was introduced in the Gospel of St. John, John writes on, on the chapter 1 verse 3, we can read before and after, I just take this word, all things came to be through him, and without him nothing came to be. What came to through him was the life. This life was the light of human race. When we say some person died, right, the light has left, there is no light. Or you and me, before we don't know the Lord, that is our real testimony, right? Before we know Jesus, really, literally experience the Lord, then we would say that that time I have no light in my life. I was ignorant. I, have, I didn't know the truth. So Jesus claimed he is the light. And he is the life that through him we have life. And that is the light. So if Jesus Christ is the light, if God is the light, and then who are we? So what's so great? If God is light, God is great. So does it make any significance to us? It will make very significance to us when we realize what are we, right? If uh, Hong Kong government is so rich and they have a lot of money, but if people don't have, if the government doesn't give some surplus budget and distribute at least COVID time, right? So God is light. So you and me are, the Bible says, we are the children of light. Let's, let's claim. Uh, Quoting from Jesus in the Gospel of John, chapter 12, 36. While you have the light, believe in the light, that you may become sons of light. Can anyone read this to me, please? I mean, read to the community this verse what I read just now. While you have the light, believe in the light, that you may become sons of light. Yes, blessed are you, sister. While we may have the light, some song. Reflect on this word. I'll come back to that. Next verse. When God is light and gave us the life, that light in us, and Jesus is claiming, hey, when there is light, have the light. That means after some time there may not be light. Right? Lord also give us the choice. Okay? To have the light or don't want to have the light is our choice. So that's what Jesus is referring here. People love the darkness. Was you find verse chapter three from nineteen onwards. People love darkness rather than the light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come to the light. Least his work should be exposed. But whoever does what is true comes to the light, so that it may be clearly seen that his works have been carried out in God. Which means it's clear to us that we have a choice. 
and there is a condition. If you want to be in light, then you have to be true, then you have to be good. But I want to light, but I will remain what I am. It is not going to be actualized. It won't happen. Either choose the light and come to the light, or be in the dark and do continue to do the wicked things, whatever may be. So choice is given to us. And most interesting that when we are believers in the Lord, right, we, we have from the past come into the light, uh, know the Lord and experience the Lord, but also remember our past. Because otherwise there is a pride in us. I am in the light. Oh, you, you people are not in the light. Oh, they are not right. They are not good. So we are good. We are the, what do you call, enlightened people. Then we grow in self-pride. Right? But that's why Paul is reminding us that also remember your past. Okay? Let's not forget that. Our, our original state, original means when we are in sin, not the, the way God created us. The way we choose to live our life. That one we should remember even when we are in the light. So that's what Paul reminds us here through Ephesians. For at one time you are darkness. Pay attention. Not you were in darkness. You were darkness. But now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of light is found in all that is good and right and true. And try to discern what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. For it is shameful even to speak of the things that they do in secret. But when anything is exposed by the light, it becomes visible. For anything that becomes visible is light. So we saw Christ is the light. We saw that the Lord desires us to be the children of light. So my next uh, point is that, so as a children of light, the identity when we have, what is that we believe? Believe about God, believe about ourselves. If you want to go for a war, uh, whatever the job that you do, right? You believe, right? Your 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 lack Chinese word, or you're capable in it, your experience experience in it. That is your confidence. So you will do it. So same way, we need to believe that we are the children of light. Jesus said. that he is the light of the world. It's very interesting, right? In one reading he says, I am the light of the world. In the other reading he says, you are the light of the world. You know that? Jesus says that you are the light of the world. Shall I have a small quiz? <laughs> in which verse and which gospel Jesus said that? You are the light of the world. Matthew 5, 16. It is copycat. <laughs> that is a smart move. It is copycat. You gave it to us. <laughs> Don't follow me. So check it. Well, that is a type mistake. Okay, doesn't matter. Um, you tell us. <laughs> you are the light of the world. Sister, okay, that's what Jesus said. You are the light of the world. So, as a believer, we must believe it. It's not just I'm the children of the, you know, experience it in you, take it. I am the light of the world. Second, um, very sister Shilpa, you know, remember Shilpa's prayer? Again, I said it's a quiz. Mm -hmm. uh, she said that these all things happen just not planned, you know, yeah. just happens. So sister prayed when she was praying here, she, she prayed and she claimed that we are not ordinary people. 
We are special people. We are the chosen race. The Peter addresses that, but you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who call you out of darkness into marvelous light. Let us believe that we are the chosen race. We are called out of darkness into light. And Christ said, you are the light of the world. One more word, then we will discuss. That you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish in the midst of a, a crooked and twisted generation among whom you shine as lights in the world. His sister was just giving the testimony that this world has so many problems and 2020 will, and 2021 will be more problems. I rebuke those no problems here. If we look at, if you look at this life, actually this world is a twisted world according to the world. It is a corrupted world. It is not that you have problems only in 2020. It's not that only because of COVID we are struggling. Brother Kamal, since you are small, your baby, you have overcome so many problems, yeah. so many challenges in your life. So let us look into our, become aware of those powers that you have in you, the strengths that you, you have applied. Sometimes our life is like a line, you know, journey starting from zero, one, two, Sometimes it's a circle. So let us summarize what I, what we collected here is this. What Jesus said, Christ is the light. In him there is no darkness. Jesus Christ is the light. In him there is no darkness. And you are called out of darkness into light. Aunts and brothers and sisters, you are in Christ. You are the light in Christ Jesus. Yes, thanks for that beautiful smiles which enlightens us, Divya. You are the light of the world. Now, look at those challenges whatever you see in the world. That is the book Paul is writing to the Philippines. That's what Peter is saying. You are the chosen race. You are the royal priesthood. You have the powers. You are the light. You are not to be scared or worried or afraid of the darkness or whatever the wickedness in the world. You are to shine. There is no fun or it's a waste of time, or it's vain. We just come and praise God with the beautiful melodies and songs. We, we have to believe that, that we are the light in Christ Jesus. And we have to shine in darkness. Year after year, Diwali comes, Christmas comes and go. Living, you know, when I was small, we used to prepare for Diwali for three years. You know, preparing for the, the what do you call DT, or I don't know the exact word, you know. Those days, we don't have this fire crackers, right? We prepare the, you know, in the old movies, they use the, even in the Bible, we use the word, the Kagada, what they call the catch and come. And when Jesus was arrested, for example, those soldiers brought the light. How did they bring it? That's what, right? We prepare for the Diwali for two, three months before the wood and cow and apply it, dry it every day. It has to burn in the whole night. You should champions who will, whose light will last long. And then came the fireworks, you know, buy all these things, then bombs. The most miserable time of my life is, the darkest time of my life is after Diwali. Lived with emptiness. Every Diwali, I remember. 
because you, we make so much dhamaka, right? So much exaggerating preparation, all the things, and the lights are late, and after that is full of ashes, smell. There is no light. It's full black moon. The, all the light that celebrated just vanished, and uh, that is what carried in the life. Though business people pray and do new business, whatever, the next day is the same again, same style, same people, same life, same stories. No change, no transformation, no conversion. <coughs> but when the, the testimony came in life, when the experience came, when we tasted the Lord, that realized that we are the light, that I am the light. There is hope, there is a strength, there is a power, there is enlightenment, there is a joy. Now I never need all those things anymore after that. So now the most important and great challenge to us is, what shall we do as children of the light? What shall you and me do? What is the message for us? Why Lord calls us to be His light? Why the apostles empower us, reminding us that we are in the light? What do you like to do? Make an effort to be an example. Yes. Are you ready to dispel the darkness? Do you believe that there is darkness in your life? Or do you believe that you are the light, you can shine your light wherever there is darkness? Again, um, you know, these readings, really what Ashish said, you know, I prepared this message, um, I don't know, a few days ago, I mean, at least in my heart. And today I went to church in the morning, so the reading also is the same, the same reading, that it, it is from the first uh, Thessalonians. Let us be sober having put on the breastplate of faith and love and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God has not destined us for wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing. The last verse from the Lord. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. So you are the chosen race. The first thing Paul is asking us is that don't sleep. Okay, don't sleep. If you read the full verse before that, he says, he writes in this one, you are the children of light, you are the sons of light, you are not called to sleep. The people who are in the dark sleep. You are the sons of day, you are the light. Amen. So what is actually sleep means, of course we are human beings, we need sleep. But be sober, be alert, be awake, be active. Not be like a drunkard. Not be like a diluted. Not be like confused. So you are quick to understand. Quick to listen. Slow to anger. Slow to judgment. Remember always, you are the light. So the words are given here to be uh, blameless and innocent. The, the, we read two, three times today that expose the darkness. Do not be part of the darkness because the light cannot be part of darkness. You are a chosen person. We can never be part of the wicked people. We may be tempted to dine with them, to do things and uh, we follow everybody because that's the world. But it's only when you remember that you are the light, you are no you are the light. It's only when you know that when you when you remember that you are looking for the truth and you speak truth. 
I just want to um, empower you with this word. But God has not destined us for, for the destruction. God did not choose us to die. God did not choose us to become depressed or miserable. But to obtain salvation through Christ our Lord. So always, every time, every day, we are worried about the things. We are worried about the challenges. Whether it's health or it's sickness, or it's job, or it's COVID. And we sometimes we lose, why me? Why I'm suffering? Why I'm struggling? But we are forgetting that. God did not choose us for that. In those challenges, struggles, God is empowering you. God is empowering us. God is making us like a soldiers to fight there is enemy. And God chose us to give us the salvation through Jesus Christ. Even the physical death we die is not a punishment. It is a glory for us to enter into the kingdom of God. The last verse I want to um, uh, go back to um, Jesus said, Why you have the light, believe in the light, that you may become sons of light. Why you have the light, have the light. My dear friends, beloveds, once you experience the Lord, once you are in Christ Jesus, let us claim ourselves, you know, thank you, sister, today is your birthday. It's a great testimony to us that how in your one side missing the sister and you can glorify the Lord. And when you celebrate birthday, there is a small candle, right? It is tiniest candle. And if you or me are that candle, okay, just that small light. What my understanding today, the Lord speaks to me, to me and to communicate to you, sir. Let us remain as a small candle. Let, it is not that necessary that we have to claim to be the big, you know, in the east, um, in the church, the during the Easter, you know, we have candle like this size. You don't need to claim to be a big candle that give big light. But God has created us to be a small, humble, be a small light. But you are the light. You can shine in the darkness, even though you are small. Do you agree? Yes. Thank you. The most important now is that when you are a small candle, when I am a small candle, let us not be disgraced that we are the light. All we need is to share the light to others. Just with that light, some other candle will be lit. What happens then? You can lit a big candle with that you can make it a small candle. So while our light perishes, your light is already shared to others. The light is being spread to one another, to one another, to one another. You can share to light to thousand people, million people, hundred people, one person. It doesn't matter. Before you perish, before the candle perishes, the light is shared. That is what Jesus is saying. While you have the light, believe in the light, that you may become sons of light. So, you are the small light to shine in the darkest world, and you can spread the light. Do you believe that? And if you believe that you have the answer to the ancient prayer, lead me, O Lord, from the ignorance to the truth, from the darkness to light, from the mortal to immortality. And that is what you and me can share to our beloveds. It is not about the cultural, religious festival. It is the true life. The, every believer, every person, why there are billions of people in today in India, everybody cries this in their heart. Searching for God, true God. 
asking this prayer, saying, reciting this prayer for years after years. But we all, one of us, one time, and we have found it out. So the answer to this question, um, there's every verse in the Bible will give answer to this. But I just want to take one, one verse each. Who leads to truth? Who leads to light? Who leads to immortality? And who is peace? If you look at Matthew chapter, you can find this verse in many places in the Bible. The people who were sitting in the darkness saw a great light. And those who were sitting in the land of the shadow of death, upon them a light dawned. These people, according to Isaiah, were cursed by God. They were living under sin and death. But when the Savior was sent, he promised in Isaiah 500 years before the birth of Jesus, this particular verse, that they will see the light of the Lord and they will have life. And when Jesus came, passing that, in the, in the Gospel of Matthew, when Jesus was introduced, the Bible comments this word, quoting from Isaiah. Second verse, Timothy, 2 Timothy, and which now has been manifested through the appearing of our Savior Christ Jesus, who abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel, who leads us from mortal life to immortality, who leads us from the death to life, everlasting life. So we have so many evidences, verses, that as Paul is teaching Timothy, and Lord is teaching us today that through his death and resurrection, the Lord has brought life to eternal. The last verse. You know, today, Hans was playing the Christmas song, the angels. You know what is the Christmas message when Christ was born? What the angels said when they met the shepherds? Can anyone, another quiz now? Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth. Peace on earth. At the birth of Jesus, the angels from the heaven came and messaged to the shepherds, Glory be to God in the highest, and peace to all his people on whom he favors. So the prayer, peace, peace, peace. Who is the one who give us peace? So Jesus claims before his death, before he was arrested to the apostles in the Gospel of John, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Dear brothers and sisters, I come with that background of searching for God and meditating on the beautiful prayer. And that is the purpose of human life. Lead us, O God from the ignorance to truth. Lead us from darkness to light. Lead us from the mortal to immortal life. And that is, when we say we are the believers in the Lord, that means we have found the answer. We have found the answer. When we love one another, when Lord asks us to love one another, or to go and share the good news, like last week, like my last message, the Lord is assigning us to go and share. We are not here go and condemn the people. We are not there to go and criticize their festivals or criticize their way of worship or blaming them. We should not do. We should not do that. That is not what the Lord calls us. The Lord is telling us He is the light. In Him there is no darkness, and in Christ we have the light, and we are the light of the world. In us there is no darkness, because He called us out of the darkness. Now, He made us the light, He gave us the light to be light. And now, take the light in us and go share the light. Witness that, yes, He is the Lord who leads us from ignorance to truth, because Jesus claimed and He is the truth. Lead us from darkness to light. Jesus is the light of the world. Without Him, there is darkness. Without Lord, there is no light. And our life 
is mortal life. We just perish, we die, we are all dead in sin. And the prayer and the heart Christ lead us to immortality. And the Lord is, I am the life and the resurrection. The life is eternal for you. And the world needs peace. Glory be to God in the highest. And peace is with you. The Lord is sending us, I give you my peace. I do not give what the world gives. Go and share the peace. My dear brothers and sisters, that is the message that the Indian believers ministries, the church, has wish, as we wish each other, that this is what we want to carry out. That our light shine forever. And all the people you thought about before you heard this message from me. In your heart, Lord has put. Now, ask the Lord to empower us to share, to tell them the real light. Amen. Okay. Let's pray. O oh, Father, the light of the world, we praise you, Father, for you are the light. Your light shines forever. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, in humbling yourself being the Son of God, the Most High, the light of the world, coming into this sinful world, taking the form of human being, to love us, to save us, and to transform us into your light. We thank you, O Holy Spirit, for empowering us today with your light, and urging us, encouraging us, and blessing us to carry your light in our lives, that we can shine even if it is a crooked, wicked, corrupt world because we are your beloveds. We are the light that you have chosen us. Bless each one of us, O Lord. Bless all the members of our church and all those who need our prayers and especially, Lord, for whom we cry that their hearts to be enlightened by you. I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.